Hey guys, it's W from NeedyCap Media. Today's video is about DaVinci Resolve and getting that crazy error that everyone hates, media offline. Stick around, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to resolve that. Okay, so before I show you and I fix the problem, let me show you what I'm dealing with. So I pulled the clip into DaVinci Resolve and immediately I get the little red box that shows that my media is offline. But I know it's not because it's set for the right place. And if I come up to the little chain link, which is what links your videos, you can see exactly where I keep my clips and I'm not having that problem. So I scoured the internet, YouTube, and I couldn't find anything. But this is what solved it for me, so I wanted to share it with you. So if I grab the clip and I stick it into the media area, you can see as soon as I start playing this, I get the media offline. Uh, and any file that I add to this, and then I'll start flickering. So the one thing that I had done, I believe it has to do with the frame rate, because when you pull on a clip, it asks you if you want to change it or leave it the same. Now I've done both of those, and I get the exact same result. Um, so what I did was, I use a software called Handbrake, and let me show you what happens. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you open up software called Handbrake. And it's a really simple installation. Simply just go ahead and Google Handbrake, and then go ahead and follow the steps to download it. But basically what I needed to do was I needed to grab the file, and I have it up here, and I want to slide it in and let Handbrake scan it. And then once I get here, I'm simply gonna come down to the video and I'm gonna keep it at a frame rate of 30. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here as consistent frame rate. Then once I have that, I'm gonna simply add it to the queue and I'm gonna start it. And this will uh, take your video and it'll make sure that the frame rate from start to finish is exactly the same. And then watch how it fixes your issue. Okay, so now we're back in DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab that file. I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna grab that file off my monitor. And then I'm gonna grab it and stick it on the timeline. So as you can see, down here at the bottom, the media offline is now gone. This was the original version of it. And if I come over to the next one, there's no issue. So gang, I hope you find this helpful. I know I did. I looked all over YouTube. I couldn't find anything for this uh, media offline error. All the videos simply showed how to relink your media source. Please again, do me a favor, consider subscribing, hit the like button. The like button's really important. Uh, the more likes I get, the more the YouTube algorithm will push this out to everyone else to look at it. I think this is pretty important and I appreciate you. As always, stay safe and stay healthy. Take care, everybody.